I have the pleasure to be with Alex to review the Adaptix Vice from Norgren. Now, this is a new innovation, which is a very flexible work holding solution. Alex, can you firstly give me a review um, and an overview of this product? Right, so the Adaptix unit is just released in the German market. You can see we're sitting on the Almatic Vice, it's already a very um, common use Vice for um, free access machine shops. And that's what we are actually also aiming for with this product is a high flexibility. So it's a flexible chore where you can very fast set up different shapes of parts, different kinds of parts. So we see ourselves like in the prototyping industry, one-offs, shops that create a lot of soft chores, these kind of um, yeah, applications. So if you like, I show you how it works. You got a part like that. And normally it would take you like I would maybe say if you are fast, a half an hour to get a soft chore done for that, to hold it. And you might only need to machine the interior here or something small, but you need to make it for half an hour. And with the adaptive system, all you need to do is to set up those fingers to specification, to create your shape. And then in the next step, you would adjust here. I only do it hand tight now. In reality, you open it again and you torque it to specification, 18 Newton meters. And then you're done. The soft chore is then created. You don't need to, to, to mill it, you don't need to plan it, you don't have material, and after that, you don't have to, to store it somewhere. So that's the big advantage. The big advantage to, to quickly change work holding. Now the next part comes, the customer just opens the wires, clamps it again, creates his new jaw and is then ready to go. Next. Alex, I've, I've seen a few points here that are, are really valid points. So firstly, you're saving on jaw manufacturing, yeah. um, which is, is a big cost. Um, the second is um, setup time. You're eliminating setup time for some um, tricky to hold um, components. and. I'm assuming this really lends itself to low volume work, is that correct? That is correct, low volume work, prototyping, every customer that has a high setup time can save a lot of money with uh, machines running faster. You, you imagine you, you set up a chore and it takes you 45 minutes or even one hour and in this case you have, have the machine running after a couple of minutes, literally. So this is uh, the big benefit of this product for these kind of customers always having trouble to, to get the machines running fast. So that's why the flexibility fought behind it. And um, Now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing uh, some various components here, some casting components. And as we know, casting components can have casting variances on them and tapers. How do you um, overcome this particular problem? Right, when you have a cast part like this one and it comes in different different uh, shapes all the time and there is a big tolerance on it, in that case you might have to adjust the fingers accordingly. Right, so it adjusts here and now it sits on a certain shape. But now the next part comes and you would open it and adjust it again. But still it's a lot, you, you wouldn't, how would you do it with a soft jaw? You would machine it one time and you can't change it ever again. In this case you can also accordingly adjusted for each very various cast parts as well. That's an excellent uh, explanation there, Alex. Now, Alex, with the different types of fingers, I see that you have um, hardened circular grippers. Are there any other options available to hold different parts? You could, the customer can decide from different variations of fingertips and studs. We have different step heights to confirm for different clamping depths like for example the 10 millimeter finger which also comes in this example with a hardened steel tip and you see there's a slight undercut in here and that undercut has the purpose to kind of pull the part towards the, the surface where it has to sit so it's pulling it down and making sure that we are always set on that level we have a material the serrated studs that comes really comfortable or handy in uh, application, for example, where you clamp very, very low, a three mil depth, where you want to save material and then go to on your second operation. 
a lot of customers use it on this application. Um, so it's flexible not only in the way how to clamp and hold parts, but also in the decision the customer can make. What material does he have to clamp? What variations are coming? And um, yeah, he's free to choose between a lot of different materials. More to come. Um, the demand of the customer tells us what we need to develop here. So very flexible, very modular, and it lends itself to all different types of applications, regardless of the material. Now, can we focus on the the devices and the compatible devices that are available for this system. Correct. So here in Germany we started with the Almatic because the Almatic is a product that is um, used most for, for, for free access work here. But also the Rome RKE is a very popular model and uh, the Shunk devices are uh, widely used in this market here. Um, we are compatible with them. The compatibility comes with uh, a special mounting system. So we mount our jaws just like the customer would mount his uh, normal jaws, just like he knows it, but with a, with a, with a kind of a pull-in system that's in the inside. Because as of the fingers, obviously we can't go through the top. But we are compatible with the most important devices, I would say. And in case a customer needs this adaptics and has a device that is not compatible, he can also order this as a bundle. So we offer it as a whole bundle. Um, and can cover this, uh, this demand as well with that. That's fantastic. Now my final question really, does it come in different sizes and, and, and what sizes are they? So currently we see here the 125 size and it also comes with a 160 version. The only difference is it's a slightly more fingers and the finger in the middle, which is not movable, is um, doubled to two. So we have, instead of one, we have two mo not movable and it's slightly wider, that's all. But the function and everything else is the same. Alex, it's been an absolute pleasure. So there you have it. If you're looking to eliminate jaw manufacturing, if you're looking to reduce your setup times and increase your efficiency, contact Norgren to find out more.